Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Black, the code formatter, and its first and only at the moment CVE, and whether you should actually care about it. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Black, it's a code formatter. It has a very particular style that I think no one actually likes, but a lot of people tolerate. Anyway, it had a CVE, this uh, 2024-21503. And um, I'm gonna walk you through the actual code, which part of it was uh, vulnerable and whether you should care about it. Um, fortunately, the analysis was made a little bit easy because they link directly to the commit that fixes it. Uh, fix catastrophic performance in lines with expanded, lines with leading tabs expanded. And if we look at the change here, we'll notice that blah, 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 documentation, a regular expression was removed and replaced with some non-regular expression code, which is great. Um, you know, anytime you can avoid regular expressions and, and do it with just plain logic, usually your performance will improve. Regexes are pretty slow uh, and they tend to lead to problems similar to what we're talking about here. Uh, but the problem actually lies in this regular expression here. Um, Away. I never want your AI features, Google. Um, lies in the, the problem with this regular expression here. Um, I actually did a video on this uh, explaining what redos is, regular expression denial of service, and this is one regular expression that falls under that same category. In particular, it triggers catastrophic backtracking due to repeated repeats here. Uh, notably, this class also matches tab, and so this can recurse a bunch. Uh, let me show you this regular expression in a Python interpreter and uh, kind of walk you through what's happening and why it is uh, backtracking in that way. Okay, so let's pile this regular expression. Assume I put a space there because that looks ugly. Um, so what this regular expression matches is any number of white space characters, uh, more than one tab character, and then any number of white space characters followed by something which is not a space. So if we run match on this with, oops, with spaces, a tab, some run of tabs, some other spaces that could be tabs, and then a non white space character, you'll see that it matches that span there. If we don't have a non white space character at the end, it does not match. And this is actually where the problem uh, lies. So if you have um, any number of spaces, uh, why is there a weird backslash here? This is a oh, because I put a backslash there. Um, <laughs> it's like, wait, why? Uh, that, and this is where the problem lies in that um, it will actually, why did it succeed on this? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, yeah. Um, it will try this greedily and follow as many runs of white space as possible uh, and then look for a tab character and then. Uh, a tab character is also a white space character, so it can trigger backtracking here. So let me show you an example of this string where it triggers the regular expression denial of service. Which dot match. Uh, we're going to put a tab character, and we're going to put a bunch of them. Um, and the reason I'm picking tab character is because I know it's matched by this class, and this class, and this class. And so if this fails here, it's going to backtrack through all the various combinations of these runs here. Uh, so let's just try doing this uh, 25 characters. So you'll see that it's not very slow there. If we increase this a bit, um, you'll see that it's starting to slow down a bit. Uh, and this is kind of the exponential nature of, of this backtracking here. Um, and if you have a thousand of these, it you know it goes it goes so long that I think my Python interpreter won't even uh, finish for that. Now, fortunately, in Python 3.11, uh, there are new, is it three, I hope it's 3.11 and not 3.12, there are new features that make it possible to write this regular expression um, without, uh, without backtracking. Now, they actually, <laughs> because these two classes overlap, they actually break this. Um, you could fix this by saying this is a non-tab character that's also a white space, but then you would probably just have to enumerate all of the white space characters. Um, so you could just say space here, but there are others that vertical tab and line feed and all the other various ones. So that's one way to fix this. I think the fix that they actually used in black is probably what I would prefer, which is just avoiding regular expressions entirely. 
Um, I was thinking you could maybe use one-shot uh, matches here, but a one-shot would blow right past the tap character. Um, the other thing that you can do is just do this in code. Uh, say that we match white space and then non-white space, and then check whether this match component contains a tap character. That would avoid the regular expression denial of servers entirely. All right, but anyway, given all of that knowledge, uh, that now asks the question, am I vulnerable? Do I care about this? And the answer is overwhelmingly no. Uh, the only way that this regular expression gets triggered, this particular regular expression here, is first inside of a doc string and second inside of your code. So you would have to intentionally attack yourself in order to trigger this, this regular expression denial of service. Or you would have to expose black over the network, which I don't know about you, but I'm not, you know, 99.9999% of people that install a code formatter are not trying to lint arbitrary code on a website. Now there is, I think, a, uh, I believe there is an online formatter for black. Yeah, there's the black playground. Um, and so this actually, this is before the vulnerable version. So this particular Vercel app is uh, vulnerable to this, this network thing. And this might be the only app in the world that's vulnerable to this uh, because no one exposes black to the network. And actually this might even be implemented in line uh, with like, um, what is it called? The Python JS. So that wasn't a problem. Um, but yeah, basically, unless you're exposing this to the network, it's not a problem. Now, I did want to show you a specially crafted Python file that does trigger this. Uh, so you can see black itself taking forever. Uh, unfortunately, in order to do that, I got to um, write the file manually <laughs> with Python because uh, I'm not about to type a thousand tab characters. I guess I could, but uh, so it has to be a doc string. Uh, and then... It has to have uh, lots of tab characters. Let's do five, let's do a thousand, uh, let's do 500. Uh, and then it has to be the rest of the doc string. And if we make a virtual env, first we'll install the latest version of black just to show you that it, it doesn't, oh actually it's gonna reformat that file. We'll do black check to avoid reformatting that file. Um, would be left unchanged. That's actually really surprising because there's there's an extreme amount of trailing white space here. I would expect black to actually remove this. Suspicious. I guess maybe because it's in a string, it leaves it alone. Um, but if we install black less than 24.3, which I believe is the fixed version, you can always check the fixed version from a commit by um, either going to GitHub or using git describe. Go to GitHub and click on this. We'll see that it was released in 24.3. Uh, and so now we have, uh, maybe we need more tabs. Um, well, anyway, <laughs> oh, actually this is the cache, I think. Well, you'll just have to trust me that <laughs> it, it is slower, but I'm, I'm running into the black cache somehow. Um, but yeah, you would need a, a file with like an extreme amount of tabs here. Oh, maybe it's this. Uh, it paused there, but not as long as I expected. Anyway, that's the problem, and uh, unless unless you're intentionally doing this to yourself, you're not going to run into an issue here. <laughs> Hopefully, um, yeah. Don't don't make a bunch of trailing tab characters. Um, anyway, uh, that's that's the uh, the long and short of it. Uh, you probably don't care about this. It's not urgent to upgrade. Um, but I do think that this is going to cause a lot of people to upgrade and, uh, unfortunately black 24 does a lot of code reformatting. So have fun with that one. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms, but thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.